So why would I recommend an actor move to an incentive state uh, to land roles when they can just move to LA and then fly in for those roles? Primary reason why I recommend this as an early strategy in the career of an actor. So this is actors who are not SAG yet, uh, they're not SAG eligible, and they're really just looking to land their first roles in film and television. So if this is where you're at as a career as an actor and you're auditioning for a one or two liner that's gonna give you your SAG card in LA, you might be one of a thousand or two thousand people that are going out for the same role. Whereas in Louisiana or in uh, Georgia, you might be one of 20 or one of 50. Uh, you know, you, there's just less competition. It's a smaller pool of talent. Now, as this commenter suggests, if you move to New Orleans or Atlanta, are you gonna be competing against all these people who are doing taped auditions and uh, sending their stuff in? The answer is maybe, but not as often as you think. So I wanna explain why any roles at all are cast locally, okay? So if I set up an independent film, it's got two famous actors in it, maybe I cast a third uh, name out of LA. Uh, as a producer, I'm gonna budget to cast as many people locally as I possibly can. That's because of two reasons. One, I've got a limited budget, I really do. So I can't pay to fly and house and give per diem to every actor that's in the movie. It's just not realistic on most independent films. And two, I know from experience, there are immensely talented actors locally. And uh, the big filmmakers agree with me. Look how many people that David Fincher uh, cast locally in New Orleans when he made The Curious Case of Benjamin Button there. So what does this mean for the actor? Uh, if you happen to know the casting director and uh, they do let you send in uh, a self-tape and you get the role, but you have to work as a local. What does that mean? It means you have to pay for your own flight, it means you have to pay for your own housing, and it means you don't get per diem because from the production's perspective, they have only budgeted to hire a local actor and you are representing yourself as a local actor to the production. So you have to get a local address, you have to figure out some financial arrangement there. And remember, you know, you're only making, you know, what, $1,100 a day or something. So uh, these costs add up really quick to the point where you're actually paying to take this role uh, rather than actually making a little bit of money off of it. So if you don't already live in LA or New York, this can be a great strategy for you, a good two to four year strategy. Move to Atlanta, move to New Orleans, get some credits under your belt, get in a SAG, uh, and you can really land some great roles. Like I have friends who did this, who ended up with uh, scenes across from Tom Cruise. So look for a part two, I'm gonna talk about this more.